welcome to today's video. Today it is time for a favorites video yet again for this month of January. It flew by. I know we always say the same thing, but it really does seem to just fly right on by. This was a very interesting month for me and it's, it was interesting. So I'm looking forward to February. Um, I'm hoping that things will be going great in the month of February. I kind of have some things going on to be excited about and I think it's important to always have something to be excited about because sometimes things just do not go the way they are planned as life is very interesting and likes to throw some curveballs. But all good. This is a positive video and we're going to talk about all the things in the month of January that I have been loving on and yes, if you watch any of my favorites videos, you know that I will pretty much put in a mishmash of products of anything that I just could not get enough of in the month and just could not find myself putting down. So you're going to see a little bit of everything and I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started because I have a, I have a few things. So the first thing, oh, also if you hear some weird, like interesting noise in the background, that is my heater that just completely keeps coming on because it is cold. So if you hear that, I cannot do anything about it. So I just, I need to stay warm. So we're going to, we're, <laughs> we're going to hear the noise. Okay. The first thing I want to talk about is an eyeshadow palette. And this eyeshadow palette up until I think like last week, you could still find on the Derm Store website. I did not know that it was still on there because it's not something that you can get currently other than there and have since then took it down so I'm sure it's gone now. I actually picked mine up on Merc Mercari and that was the first time ever buying anything used in makeup but I could not pass it up. It was something that I have been wanting forever. I slept on it as I normally do with products and I just had to have it. I was hearing April from Wanna Makeup talk about it and she finally convinced me I needed to just pick it up. So I bought it used, but it was in excellent condition. It was only swatched like the one shade. So it is this. This is the Tarte Love, Trust, and Fairy Dust eyeshadow palette. Now, like I said, I actually don't mind when YouTubers talk about products that you can no longer get, get or are available on like Ulta or Sephora because if I hadn't, if I haven't seen it or I haven't really like seen it used a lot before, then I actually appreciate those things and I know a lot of people have them in their collection. So I'm not that person that will not talk about something because it's not available. And I like when other YouTubers do that because like I said, I can find things that I really, really want that, you know, I can still possibly get. Um, but I just, I like that, especially with declutters too. I've been watching a lot of declutters lately and people just get rid of stuff because you can't get it anymore and they don't want to talk about it. But I kind of like it because you might actually have that in your collection. I'm babbling. I'm talking like crazy. Anywho, this is the palette. I'm going to try with the lighting. Um, it's just so pretty. I love the Tarte eyeshadow formula because for me as someone that is not good with eyeshadow and blending, it just is very easy and for me forgiving to blend the shadows. So I've been getting a lot of use out of this lately. You know, I pretty much have used everything in this palette this month and I just really, really enjoy it. And I will continue to use this because I just think that the shades are so gorgeous and forgiving. Um, they're not overly pigmented, but especially the dark ones, I have this on my eyes today. I just feel like it just blends so nicely and that's why I love Tarte makeup products. So, And of course the packaging is just so cute and so adorable. I'm currently trying to get the Fairy Dust blush, um, but I have been having a hard time finding that. So I'm going to keep my eyes out on Poshmark and Mercari for that as well. The next thing I have is a blush. Now this blush you see a lot, people, a lot of people talk about it, um, but I've had it for a while. I just started actually using it though because it was still packaged and it's the Burt's Bees blush in the shade Shy Pink. So I'm going to see if I can get this to work for me today with the focusing. So it's just a really pretty pink shade. 
I absolutely love this formula as well. They have another shade that is, I know is very popular. I think it's like a toasted cinnamon or something like that. You can get this. It is at lots of stores, but I picked mine up at Ulta, and Ulta has it currently for $9.99, but you can get it on sale, and you can get a good deal on it. So if this is something that you think you would like, then I would definitely recommend picking it up. So I'll just try to show you here. It's just very pretty, like a very pretty pink shade, and you can build it up, and it blends out nicely also. So just very, very pretty, and I have been loving that, and I've been using it almost every single day. The next thing I have is another kind of surprising product. So I picked this up at the Dollar Tree a while ago. I had it in a haul, and when I swatched it, I couldn't see anything. So I didn't, I kind of just let it go. I didn't really touch it, didn't play with it. But then I'm trying to use all my makeup, so I just rotate things every month. And then I pulled it out just out of curiosity to try it. It's the e.l.f. highlighter in the shade White Pearl. You can get this on their website. It's $3. It's so inexpensive. But... I don't know what it is. When I started using it, I have it on today. Oh, I have everything I'm talking about on my face today. So the blush is on, the eyeshadow palette, and the highlighter. It's a very, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it with the lighting, but it's a very subtle highlight. But it's beautiful, and it works really well every day for me for work because I don't want to put anything too blinding on. I love the ColourPop Horse and Carriage Highlighter. I think I talked about that last month. But this is just a very like subtle but also pretty highlight on the face and the nose, Cupid's bow. And I have been loving this and it's definitely, or you're probably not going to be able to see it, has been getting lots of use this month. So if you can find this at Dollar Tree, I would definitely recommend picking it up because like I said, for a dollar, you can't go wrong with it. Like I said, when I swatched it, you could barely see it kind of like comes up really chalky, but when you put it on your face, it just kind of is like very, it's, you're not going to be able to see it. It just comes out really nice and I really like it and have been enjoying that. So I will continue to use that up. And the last makeup product that I have is a sponge. Now this sponge was another something again that I picked up. And I saw someone talk about it a long time ago. Every time I went to Walmart, it was always sold out. So I finally saw it the one day and I decided to grab two of them. And it is the Wet n Wild Makeup Sponge. So it comes in this like cute packaging here. And this is the new one. I haven't opened this yet. And it's under $5. I found it on Target's website for $3.99, but I'm thinking I paid $3 for it at Walmart. So just a really like cute little sponge. Now the one that I've been using is this one. I just cleaned it, so or attempted to clean it. It comes out pretty clean, but this is the size difference of when it's still wet here. So if you can kind of see that. This works really, really well. If you want to find a sponge that's even less expensive than the Real Technique Techniques ones, this one is a really good one. I just like that it's very bouncy, and I feel like putting this, using this, and use like just for my foundation, my concealer, I can just get it done really, really quickly, and I just love it. And will continue to purchase these once I go through them. And I've been using this one for a while, and it's finally just starting to show some wear and tear. But I've probably been using this one for a couple months, and I just regularly clean them. So I'm probably going to have to change it out soon. But it's really held up for me. And then I think that's pretty much it for the beauty stuff. I do have one thing like that's fun that I have been absolutely obsessed with and when I was younger I posted these actually the next two things on my Instagram I'll link that down below it's always linked in the comments um, and it was funny the response that I got because a lot of people had these when they were growing up and I had been wanting one for a while and finally just decided to pick it up and that is a caboodle. Now this one I grabbed at Target. I think it was $20. You can get them on Ulta's website. They have all different sizes and colors and I also found them at Kohl's also. This one I wanted because it's pink and I love pink and I just 
it was like the nostalgic thing of it I really wanted a caboodle and to keep my daily makeup in and I'll show you how it's kind of set up so you can kind of get a, a look so on the inside here you have the different sections and if you have a limited space I do my makeup in the mirror in the bathroom then this is convenient to have because you just put your stuff in there your everyday makeup and you can take it with you wherever um, but like I said I usually do mine in the bathroom so the top part has like a little latch on here and it opens up and you have a mirror on the top and then also a little tray so I keep all of my lip products there and then it comes off and then underneath you have your section where I keep, it's kind of hard to show so I don't want everything to fall out, but like I keep all my um, foundations and concealers, things like that on the top. And then you also have, whew, it's hard to get this, this little compartment here where I keep my eye products, my eyelash curler, mascara, things like that. Underneath, you do have space to put your eyeshadow palettes underneath here and any other products that you want to store. So it is nice and handy, you know, to have, and I've just been loving having this. And it fits all of my, da my daily makeup and then some because I'm trying to use some of my Project Pan stuff up. So I really, really love that, and I would highly recommend it if you are looking for some kind of makeup storage to kind of move with you or just have it for your daily makeup. The next thing I have is my most fun thing. It has not left my side. I am sitting on it and it was also in that same post from Target and this is the fun one. It's this. I love it. It's a like a resting pillow. So if you like to watch TV or watch YouTube videos on your iPad or tablet or whatever you have, this thing is awesome. It's shaggy. It's fuzzy, it's furry, it's so comfortable, and it keeps you so nicely propped up. This thing comes with me everywhere, from the living room to the bedroom. Right now, I like to have it when you're filming to like kind of prop me up a little bit, and it's just whoo, breaking everything down. Um, it's just so nice and fluffy. They have it at Target still on the website for $18. It comes in the cream, which is the shade that I picked up, and then also a gray. If you don't have one, they are awesome. I love it, and it is amazing. I have a couple more things to go, and then we're going to be done. The next thing I have is actually a movie to talk about, and that is a movie 1917. I wanted to see it since I saw the previews for it. Dominic and Frank and I finally went and with my parents, and it is amazing. I love the fact that it's based on World War One because you don't see a lot of movies that are World 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 War One. There are usually World War Two or like current war type of movies. And the thing that I wanted to talk about the most in there is I'm such a nerd, but if you're very close to me, you know that I have an obsession. And this obsession is with the composer that did the music for 1917, and that is the main reason why I wanted to see it. His name is Thomas Newman. He is the best music composer of all time, in my opinion. I've had an obsession with this man since I was a teenager, so it's been a really long time. He's done the music for my favorite movie of all time, which is The Shawshank Redemption. He's also done the movie for The Green Mile, Road to Perdition, Finding Nemo, um, a lot of other movies that are kind of like that style. And he kills it, and he hits it out of the park every single time. He is so talented. I feel like sometimes with these movies, the music is what makes the movie. And I don't think people realize sometimes like who's behind it. And if you've never ever heard of him before, if you have Pandora or you have some kind of listening device where you can type in the, you know, who you're trying to look for, I would highly suggest if you like that type of music to search Thomas Newman because he's just phenomenal and if you like that kind of stuff then you will not be sorry and if you've never seen the movie yet I highly recommend it. It is great and wonderful and it's just such a good movie and the actors are amazing and I can't say enough good things about it. So that is the movie. Um, I also have two kind of drape things that I wanted to talk about. Oh, I forgot one more thing. Um, this is probably long, I'm sorry, but I like to talk, so. 
I have two things. This first one, I've shown these before. Frank actually usually drinks these, um, but I decided to start taking them because of this coronavirus and just everyone being sick. I work in the medical field, so everyone's constantly sick and I have like a really crappy immune system, so I'm constantly getting sick. And I just wanted an extra something to boost my immunity. So I started drinking these, and these are the emergency 1,000 milligrams, or I don't know, is that milligrams, MG, vitamin C daily immune support. And this is in the flavor tropical. So I've tried these before. I've had them before multiple times, but I usually get the orange or like the pink lemonade which is actually not bad and then like just the regular flavors but Frank picked these up and he's not a tropical person so I don't know it probably just came in the pack at Costco or BJ's but this is delicious this doesn't have that like um, medicinal like flavor to it at least not to me and I really have been liking this as cold or warm you can put it in there and it's really really tasty and if you like like tropical types of like tasting things you might want to give this a try because I do feel like it does help I mean I'm currently starting like I'm still trying to get over something right now but that's just the story of my life plus I have really bad allergies so this is really good if you like that type of stuff and you're just looking for an extra boost I would recommend those and that flavor and this thing is kind of funny and you know I will talk about anything I don't really care if I if I feel like it's something helpful that someone can use and I will talk about it there's no shame in any of it this one actually was mentioned to me through a co-worker of mine she had some at work I decided to give it a try it's pretty brutal but I feel like it's helpful and it's something to mention so if you have issues when it comes to going to the bathroom, I know, TMI, then, and if you don't want to take like medication or something, I take a probiotic, sometimes that still doesn't do it. If you take medication and you don't want to and you want to try something more natural, I highly recommend this. This is the Traditional Medicinals Organic Smooth Move Tea. This I picked up, it was either at Target or Walmart, so you can find it. It's pretty much everywhere. This brand is a really good brand of tea. And this is a stimulant laxative tea, and it says it relieves occasional constipation. Now, it's caffeine-free, it gets 16 in the box, it is organic. This taste is actually not bad. So the I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. So it says it relieves occasional constipation generally within 6 to 12 hours. And the taste say it's a sweet and aromic with spiced orange notes. So it recommends for you to drink this at night. And then overnight it would kind of do its thing. And then in the morning you should get up and be able to relieve yourself. Now with this I would highly recommend you don't drink it the night before you have to go to work or you have somewhere to be because it really does work and it really does work well so if you kind of get where I'm going with that the first time I drank that I told my coworker that I was not I was thinking I was gonna be late for work because I could not get out of the bathroom so again TMI but it really does work and I know a lot of people struggle with issues when it comes to the bathroom and I feel like people are just too like scared to talk about it because they're embarrassed but I honestly don't care and like I said I just feel like this is something that can be really helpful if you're having problems and but you don't want to give yourself another problem by drinking this and having to be somewhere early the next day so I would recommend doing it like where you don't have to work the next day or if it's like a weekend or something where you don't have to rush out the door this will be your best friend if you need it this type of thing and you don't want to drink it all the time either because people can abuse it which is really sad but it can be something that's abused so you don't want to be drinking it all the time um, but it does help when you need it and the last thing I have is something I recently picked up and this was from my last Ulta haul I picked up the big one it was in a set for my mom and then I took the baby one and it's the philosophy fresh cream warm cashmere perfume now I just 
got this a couple weeks ago and I'm already blowing through it because I have been loving this for work. I can't wear anything like overly scented for work because people have really bad sensitivity to it, but this one is just so amazing. It's very warm and comforting, vanilla-esque, like just the perfect winter scent to me and you can wear it every day it's like you it doesn't have to be a specific season or a day versus night it's just a very fresh warming comforting scent that a lot of people like the thing with this i really like is that it lasts it lasts on my skin i can still smell it the next day um, when i go to get a shower and i just love this so and once i blow through this which will be very soon i'm definitely getting a big one because it is the best and if you like those kinds of scents you would really really like that um i have a quote coming from this book i love this book you guys um, everything has its wonders, even darkness and silence, and I learn whatever state I am in, therein to be content, and that again is from Helen Keller. Um, as I said, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but I think with like, you can kind of figure out where I'm going with this, with recent things that are on the news, and, you know, people mourning loss of just things that happen on a daily basis, um, Everything has its wonders, even darkness and silence, and I learn whatever state I am in there to be content. Uh, <laughs> I think everyone has their ups and downs and their losses and things that they go through and may not talk about to people, and I feel like no matter what state you are in at any point in time there's always going to be something that you can pull from it or like I always say like to try to find some kind of positivity in it and I'll be honest sometimes it sucks and you feel like there is nothing that you can find to bring out of something that is so dark and something so awful that you could be going through but if you kind of try to focus on it you can and I feel like it's just something that people are so scared to talk about, like the dark times and things that are going that they're going through that they feel like maybe they won't get through. And I, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but like I guess in a day day to day sense, or if you have something that is very upsetting to you, or something that you're going through that you feel like you're just never going to get through, if you kind of try to find something out of it you can always find something positive or some kind of something that you can take out of every situation no matter what you're in you might not see it at the time but i promise you when you get over that hurdle and everything is an up and down roller coaster you will see the beauty and the wonder in it and I feel like everything happens for a reason we're all here for a reason I know this one I'm babbling on but it's just something so close to me and I, I can't express how much it's close to me and I feel like a lot of people this week have been mourning the loss of Kobe Bryant and his daughter but also the other people that passed in that awful helicopter flight but I I get it and but there's horrible things and so many people that lose people every single day and I feel like when something like that happens it's just a reminder to just appreciate every day and and it's sad that sometimes you have to get that reminder but I don't know it's just a really hard one so if you understand where I'm coming from with that one and you can appreciate that please let me know down below um, and also I know there's a couple people that watch my videos that they have things that are going on in their life right now and I just want to say that you know you always have people that are here for you and they're just a click or a phone call or even a message away and you're never alone no matter sometimes how much you feel alone and there's always people that care and it might not feel like that but they do even if they don't personally know you, they feel like they do. You always have a friend. And I would always want to be that person that if you feel like you need someone to talk to, just please do never hesitate to pick up the phone 
or to send me a message, I will always be there and I just know how important it is to have support and I think it's I think it's important. So with that said, I know this was a long one, but I just really wanted to chat and talk to you guys and just say hello and give my thoughts and opinions on these products because like I said, I just love them and I wanted to share them with everyone. So I hope everyone has a great weekend no matter what you're doing. I hope you enjoy it. Even if you're working, I hope you have an awesome day. And I will see you guys very soon in the next one. Thank you so much as always for stopping in or if you're new, hello. I hope you come back for some more. I will talk to you very soon. Bye. Thank you.